there guys Kim George here your sheep geek with another quick video tip and tutorial on active campaign now what I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video is how to do split testing well subject lines um, this is one of the things that I honestly didn't know for a while that you could do <laughs> embarrassed to say that but it is what it is you know um it is what it is i'm glad that i found out about this because this is a feature in active campaign that i do like to use often especially when i'm sending out you know different campaigns different promotions and things like that to the folks on my email list my my subbies and so um as for you if you're in business you know and you're running multiple promotions or you're running just different kind of camp different types of campaigns and you want to kind of see what campaign uh headlines are giving you you know the best uh, response rates and things like that this is one of the ways to do that is with split testing now this is a little bit advanced i guess you can say um and it's something that maybe you know a little bit more advanced marketers can do but I just think that when it comes to marketing, when it comes to email subject lines, when it comes to you know mailing out your list, unless a standard kind of campaign that you send out or email that you send out, maybe it's just a roundup newsletter or something like that, it can never hurt to test your email subject lines, especially if you're sending out promotions and things to see which ones perform the best because that way you can kind of go back and catalog those subject lines and put them in like in a, a little list to show that okay these gave me a 60% open rate this one gave me a 30% well I know going forward to use this type of subject line in my emails because it gets the best results so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this really quickly in active campaign. And before I get into this video real quick, if you are a solopreneur or you're a small business with 10 employees or less and you are looking for active campaign automation assistance or you're having, you know, you want to implement a system like this that will help you generate more passive sales. It does a lot of the automation and it puts a lot of your marketing and sales on autopilot i would love to help you i have some new packages that i've just recently rolled out so if you know more about the active campaign automation uh, packages over at your sheet geek you can click the link below to learn more about those and i'd love to help you get things set up okay so on with the video so the first thing that we're going to do guys is i'm going to go to inactive campaign i'm logged in and i'm going to go to where it says create a campaign I'm going to click on create a campaign now here's where we get into naming my campaign so i'm just going to go ahead and do test split or split test i can't spell <laughs> headlines okay now as you can see below here in order to do split testing you're going to come below where it says select a campaign type and you're going to see there's six different types of campaigns that you can send. You can send a standard one time. You can send an automated uh, automated campaign, which is going to be custom sequences and emails based on different conditions, actions, et cetera, et cetera. An autoresponder that comes that gets sent out after somebody subscribes. Split testing, RSS triggered and date based. OK, so what we're going to do is I'm going to select split testing because this is what we want to do. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. Now, when you get to the next screen, this is where you want to select a list of where you want this campaign to go to. I have a lot of lists in here. I know I need to do better. Boo to me. <laughs> um, and I am going to get this cleaned up and I'm going to use tagging going forward because it just makes things a lot cleaner. Right. All right. So I'm going to select my list. And then as you can see below here, it says select the split test type. And I'm just going to click, um, I'm going to leave it on test different email subjects um, and or from information. Okay. Um, and that's it. It's not really the email contents. It's just the email subject lines. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. Okay. All right. So we're going to get to the next screen in here. And this is going to ask me, okay, well, what kind of campaign do you want to use? Now, I've created a standard email template, guys, and that's what I would recommend that you do. Again, if you're not familiar with how to do something like this, you know, I'd love to help, but I would suggest creating a standard email template for active campaign that you can use over and over again to you know brand your business so that when people see things coming from you, they know who it is, they get used to the branding. 
and all of that kinds of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to a past campaign that I've sent out. And um, I'm going to use this template here. OK, so I'm going to select this. OK, and then I'm going to add just a test email subject line. So I'll do test. Well, let's just see. Let's do one subject line here. How to use active campaign Oops. like a boss. And that's, mm, I wouldn't do, send something like that. <laughs> okay, but I'm just going to type that in there and then I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Okay, so it's ticking, it's ticking, it's ticking. And in this area is where you would, of course, come into your email. And this is where you would add all of your content and things like that. This is an old email that I sent out to my list on how to how to screen record uh, slideshows using Canva for courses, webinars, and more. Um, you can he definitely head over to check out that video. And uh, But this is what I've sent to my list previously. And so I'm just gonna leave this as is. But if, of course, if you're sending out a new campaign, this is where you wanna come in and you want to start updating this information, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go to next. Now, here's where we can start adding or add the second uh, email subject line to test. Now, as you can see here, this is the first test subject line that I have right here for test one. It's saying how to use active campaign like a boss. Okay. Now, what I want to do here is I want to go to add test, right? Because we want to test multiple subject lines. And then I'm going to do instead of how to use active campaign like a boss, maybe I want to test something like you know, new video, how to use active campaign to sell like hotcakes. I don't know, something like that, right? Okay, so that's the email subject line number two. Now you can go on and on and on. I usually stick to two headlines that I'll test and that's it. But if you wanted to add another headline in here to test with your list, you can do that. I'm just going to stick to two. So test one, as you can see, is how to use active campaign like a boss. Test two is new video, how to use active campaign to sell digital products like hotcakes. OK, so that is usually that's pretty much all you need to do. Now, what I like to do, and I'm just <laughs> funny about this, is I always like to send myself a test email just to you know make sure that things are good, make sure I don't really have all kinds of crazy misspellings, that things flow well. So an active campaign, you can definitely do that if you want to test your campaign. And what you can do is you would just go down here, put your email address, and then you would click send test. Okay. Now I'm done with adding both my test one subject line and my test two subject line okay so i'm going to go ahead and click close because i've added that information in there i'm now i'm going to go ahead and click next and it's ticking 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 i don't know why it's going so slow okay so now you can see up here that there are two email subject lines that are going to go out to the list, right? So I have the first one is how to use active campaign like a boss. And then I have the second one, new video, how to use active campaign to sell digital products like hotcakes. I think the second one will probably perform better, but hey, you never know. That's the point of split testing. So what you would do then is you would come down here and under schedule, this is where you want to make sure that you select on, right? Because you want to schedule this campaign for a specific time. I don't want this to go out today. So I, I would probably do something like tomorrow or whatever specific date. If you have a specific date that you want this to go out, you can set a score for a specific date. So maybe if I wanted it to go out Friday, I can set it for Friday and then I can come in here and change my time. Okay. So maybe if I want this to go out on Friday at nine o'clock AM, I could do that. And then as you can see, here are the two messages that are going to go out to the list. It's going to message number one is how to use active campaign like a boss. Message number two is how to use active campaign to sell digital products like hotcakes. OK, those are the two email subject lines that I'm testing. Now, under here, you're going to come to a section that says split test options. Now, I don't 
ever really do determine, you know, do not determine a winner. I never do, you know, determine the winner and send using the winner. Maybe that's something I should test in the future. Um, you know, and it couldn't help to do that. And so as you can see is, um, once you select that, it's going to say, okay, well, how should the winning message be determined? Is it going to be the best open rate or is it going to be the best click rate? So you decide to me, Open rates is important. Click rate. I mean, I don't know. I think that click rates or open rates is actually probably better. So I would do open rate and then you can determine, you know, um, the remaining emails to send after if you want to wait two days or if you want to wait two hours or even if you want to wait one hour. Right. I have not done this yet. So but I just like to send these out to see which ones do respond. But determining the winner would be the better way to go, because then that way you could determine, OK, well, hmm, you know, this is um, this is how this performed. And then what you can do down here is you can set your ratios. So I would just do 50 and 50, right? Because it's half and half. OK, wait. OK, it says total of messages must be under 100. Oh, OK, OK, got it. So I guess then since it says you have to um, kind of give a percentage, you could do something like. Let's see here what I would do. Maybe a 40 and okay, yeah, because that makes 100%. So maybe you can send 40% of your list, the first email, and then 50% of your list, the last email, and then the 10% is going to get the remaining winning email. Okay. So that is how you can do split testing. Or again, it's really cool. Once you've selected your options, if you don't want to determine a winner, you can again select this. If you do, you can just come down and select this. You can choose by click rate or open rate. You can do the percentages here and they have 10%, 10%, which is actually pretty, pretty cool as well. And then 80% of the list is going to receive the winning email, so on and so forth. All right. So once you're done setting this up, all you have to do is come over here and click finish. And it's going to schedule this campaign to go out to send to your list. And it's going to have those two subject lines. And as you can see here, it's saying, okay, this is the name of the campaign. This is the date and time that it's going to go out. Uh, this is the type, which is going to be a split test. And that's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let me see, I'm going to disable this because I don't want to send this out to the list because they're going to be like, what the heck is this? So I'm going to disable this. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys how you can definitely do split testing to, again, kind of, you know, test to see which headlines perform the best, know, you know, which ones that you can use going forward, which ones, you know, which ones, um, which, which kind of email subject lines your list responds best to, and so on and so forth. And again, all I have to say is this uh, active campaign is seriously hands down one of the coolest tech tools that I've used um, as far as marketing automation goes in a while. And so um, I absolutely love this system. It's just so powerful. There's so many different things that you can do. It's so smart. It's just, you just, it's so intelligent. There's so many different things that you can do that if, for example, if you were a solopreneur that didn't have a virtual assistant or someone to do a lot of marketing and sales for you, you could actually set up automated sequences in active campaign that are going to do those things for you, you know? So it's just, it's a really, really dope system. I love it. I just wanted to share this little quick tip with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you like what you, if you like the video tutorial and you want to see more information or more tutorials on active campaign, drop me a comment below and let me know. I'm going to be popping, pumping out some more content here about active campaign and also different things to help you guys, uh, you know, sell digital products, set up shops, things like that. So drop a comment below on specific things that you love for me to share. And thank you so much for tuning in. You guys stay safe out there. Be blessed. Until the next time. Bye.